we can use masking to composite photos together. So how about we scale this scroll down, I'm holding Shift and Option or Alt, and maybe he's going to be about that size. I'll hit Enter, and then we're going to place him here, right here on the ground. So let's zoom in here. All right, so I have two images now. I'm going to go ahead and delete this black and white layer, and we'll hide this. So you see that I have this one little image of the squirrel, and I have an image of the deer, and the squirrel is on top of the deer. And in fact, you can see the boundaries of it very easily. What if I wanted to add this squirrel into this image? Well, masking is one of my favorite ways to cut around photos. And what I need to do to add a mask is just click on the mask button down here. Added a mask. Now, same rules apply. I can simply paint on this mask. So B for the brush tool. And I have white and black. I need to switch to black with the X key to just flip flop those. And now I can start painting over this and removing parts of this image. But they are still there. So if I switch back to white, I can actually show that again in case I make a mistake. So what I can do with this is actually just paint this out super quick for you. And we'll just kind of go around this squirrel a little bit. We'll kind of keep some of the grass in there. He could use some of the grass. I might get rid of his whiskers some. Kind of go as close to him as I can with this size of a brush. We'll zoom in. We can scale our brush down with the left bracket key and just go around the squirrel very roughly just to get rid of most of the green around him. If we hold shift, that brush is going to go in straight lines. Pretty easy to uh, go around objects just by holding shift and clicking ahead on them. We'll go around this tail a little bit, and I can cut into it, that's okay. It's not going to hurt it too much. The tail's pretty fuzzy, but for what we're doing here, I'm just kind of demonstrating the fact that you can, in fact, do this. And this is my preferred method, really, to cut out photos, is to use masking because of how, A, non-destructive it is. I would never use the eraser tool to do this. And B, just how easy and quick it is if I make a mistake let's say I accidentally go through his arm right there I can one yes I can just undo it but two I could also hit the X key and kind of redraw back in here because I'm repainting in white and that means I'm showing this layer again and if I switch back to black with the X key then I can hide this layer again and you can see over in the layers panel as I'm creating this it's actually creating and painting on that layer mask in black all the areas that I want to hide of this image. So what I want to keep in the white of this image is just the image of the squirrel. So just this cutout portion of the squirrel. So we'll zoom out on that now. I'll make my with the right bracket my brush a little bit bigger and we'll kind of cut up into this grass a little bit. We'll leave some of the grass. We should be able to just tweak it a little bit more here move this squirrel down he's sitting in there and how about we darken him up a little bit with an adjustment layer remember we we used those before I'm gonna just do a quick brightness and contrast we'll just darken him up notice how everything is darkening well remember we just hold option or alt click between those two layers and now it's just applying to the squirrel layer we can drop that darkness down a little bit pump up the contrast some we can change to maybe a curves and up this a little bit just to kind of tweak. Remember, we got to hold option between those two layers. Pull this down some. We're just kind of tweaking and setting up our little squirrel guy to sort of fit into this image a little bit better. And now that I've tweaked some of those, I can go back to the mask, and maybe tweak how this grass sort of comes up into that squirrel layer. And then we can go back and maybe make an adjustment with the hue and saturation and darken it a little bit just so that that grass sort of fits together and now I have a squirrel who's been masked out and had a few adjustments applied to him, a few adjustment layers and those are strictly applied to just the squirrel layer because we made a clipping mask by holding option in between each of these he is now in here with the deer just hanging out so that's how you can composite photos together with masking. Masking is super powerful. You can put it on smart filters. You can put it on adjustment layers. You can put it on the layers themselves. And watch if I hide and show this layer now, you can see that he's got his full 
it's remember it's non-destructive editing so we retain the full image he's still there but it's just hidden now instead of erased out your fellow designers who go into your photoshop files will very much appreciate all these non-destructive editing techniques 